This is the Iowa Weather Report for Monday, June the 9th, 2014. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, we have a disturbance moving through the central and southern plain states. That's continuously producing some very heavy rainfall, showers and storms across Texas, Oklahoma, and then across the south. You can see that here with a system moving through. This will also bring us some showers and storms today, although the heaviest rain looks to be across the Red River Valley down into the hill country of Texas. Highs today will be mainly in the upper 60s to middle 70s. As we go into Tuesday, we could still see some lingering showers and storms in our southeastern counties of the state as the low pressure center moves across Arkansas into the Tennessee River Valley. Any rain will be moving out by late on Tuesday night into early on Wednesday. Wednesday will be the dry day of the week with sunshine highs mainly in the lower to middle 70s, maybe some upper 70s in the western counties with plenty of sunshine. But that doesn't last long. Another system comes in here on Thursday with a cold front. This could trigger some showers and thunderstorms. It's too early to determine severe weather at this point. We'll keep watching it, however. And then on Friday, another dry day mainly. Maybe some lingering showers early in the day on Friday. Otherwise, we'll see readings eh, mainly in the 70s across the state here on Friday. Maybe upper 60s in some of the northeastern counties. But then we go into the weekend. Everybody wants to be outside. While Saturday in the eastern half of the state, you may be able to get some, some outside work done or outside anything done but the western counties will see rain Sunday will be a com looks to be a complete washout this could be another similar similar to Saturday where we had quite a bit of rain across the state highs will be possibly cool in the 60s to uh, middle 70s across the state and then as we go to next Monday you can see a ridge over the south Texas to Arkansas and that keeps the flow continuously over us with a progressive zonal pattern and rain again by Monday with the same system moving through and kind of sitting over us rain across the southeast with the afternoon and storms and elsewhere fairly quiet going into the extended period here on June the 20th pretty much still a zonal flow across the northern tier of the country bit of a ridge over the south and west over about New Mexico could see a tropical system down here in Florida. The GFS has been hinting at a tropical system for quite some time. However, we have not yet seen one in the Atlantic or in the Gulf. With this, we could see a system moving through, pre bringing some showers and storms with readings well close to seasonal levels in the 70s to low 80s. And you can see the zonal pattern even continues here to the end of the forecast on the 24th. A uh, ridge pretty much centered over the south. Zonal flow that keeps the systems progressively moving from west to east across the country. You can see that here with another system moving through the Great Lakes to the east of us and some more rain over the Canadian Prairie Provinces back into the north and west and the typical afternoon showers and storms in the southeast. Satellite image from last evening, you can see the next storm system approaching from the west with some showers and thunderstorms in the Plain states, also across the mid-south into the Delta region, a couple of clouds elsewhere, the west and southwest fairly clear and calm and also very hot, the excessive heat warning around Las Vegas. We had a severe thunderstorm watch in the mid-south Delta region into Louisiana, also across the plains. Flash flood watches all over the south. Around here it was fairly quiet. And you can see with the QPF chart, through Friday evening at 7 o'clock, a lot of the heaviest rain will be to our west, to our south, and southeast of the state, from about nothing in the northern counties to maybe an inch in our southern counties.